Hello, in this video we'll be upgrading our node on the preview testnet for the upcoming Chang hard fork. So right now in my node server I'm running Cardano node version 8.9.4 and we need a node version uh, 9.1 to support the Chang hard fork. So for the preview testnet the scheduled hard fork is on Wednesday, so in two days. And we'll be upgrading this node based on the CN tools or the guild operators uh, guide and using the tools provided by them. So the first thing we need to do, I guess the first thing we can do is check our guild live views to see what our node is doing. So we see we are running a relay node on preview with the version we are synced up to the tip and that's all good so if you are in this state if your node is in this state we can now stop the node and and uh, we can look at the upgrade guide uh, on this link i'll post it in the description as well so the first thing we need to do is download the guild deploy script and now this third line would run the script as well so we're not going to run it but we will download it and that's going to go into our tmp folder so we have the guild deploy here now we can always uh, do help and see how to use it but right now if you look at the upgrade guide you'll see the s for selective install dl so d is for the downloading the binaries and l is for building the lipsodium fork from io uh, repositories so that's something that i always do and uh, also you specify the branch master in this case uh, master is still on 8.9.4 so we want to specify the alpha branch which is uh, switched to 9.1 the network is going to be preview for us here and uh, this can uh, the name of the node and the path and we don't need to specify it because these are defaults so we can leave it as default and the only other thing we're going to add here is to add mithril as well so we can do guild deploy selective install so we're going to download the binaries install the lipsodium and we're going to put m to install mithril right as you see here so we can use mithril to do a faster sync because the uh, ledger database between the nodes 8.9.4 and 9.1 uh, require a replay so uh, if we get the snapshot from mithril we can avoid the replay altogether and our node can start much faster uh, okay that and uh, we can also specify f so to force overwrite uh, files of um, uh, scripts and config files um, you may or not uh, need this i'm going to specify it here uh, but yeah this would force overwrite any config files like the config json for the node the topology and so on and leave your existing files uh, with backups uh, if you are using test nets then if you are for example switching from preview to pre-prod uh, you're switching your node from one network to another this is a required step then because the files are different if you are just updating the node they may not be different and uh, you may not uh, need it uh, because yeah the the config files should stay the same in the same network uh, so we can just start clean by overwriting everything so that we know that uh, all the files will be correct and uh, yeah that's why so we got the selective install we need to specify the branch so we said we're going to target alpha because that's going to be our node version 9.1 and we're going to specify network as preview 
uh okay so the script was updated to the alpha branch so we have to run it again now it's actually gonna run so i need to just give it some time in the meantime we can look at uh what's there to do next so basically yeah, the guild deploy script will uh will want to refresh our session with the new various variables from bash rc and then we should have the new node version installed and all the files set up so all we need to do then is use the mithril client to get the snapshot and we can start the node okay so you have information here about common troubleshooting problems uh but that's more or less it it's uh it's made pretty simple by the guild operators so props to them for always maintaining this stuff the tooling for the nodes we're just gonna wait for this to finish all right that's done so we can source our bash rc file and now if we check our Cardano node version, we should be on 9.1. Okay, so like we said, there's a difference in the ledger uh, database. So we're going to use Mithril to get the new snapshot for the new node version. So as part of the guild operators toolset, we have this Mithril client. Uh, that we can use to set it up and download the, the snapshot. There's also Mithril Signer, but we'll get into that in another video. And uh, what we want to do first with the Mithril Signer is do environment setup. So that will uh, set our set some stuff in the Mithril.env, which is located in uh, cnode mithril and then mithril.env so we see the network is preview the db directory uh, and so on so these are some variables needed for mithril signer to work and then now we can do uh, so when we actually want to work with snapshots uh, we have cardano db and then we can do snapshot list so we'll see all the snapshots available now with their times and everything so it's looking good right? epoch 643 uh, preview network and uh, so on okay that's good so we want to download the latest one we can do that with cardano db download the thing is this should fail yeah it should fail because the db directory is not empty so we have our db directory from the previous node version that was syncing so we just need to get rid of that we can remove it by doing rf and then we go back one fo folder and then everything in the db directory we can remove and then we run the client again to download the snapshot and now it should automatically pick the latest one and give us a snapshot for the node so once that's done, uh, we can start the node and see if it's working correctly. Okay, so done. Cardano DB has been unpacked, successfully checked, and it's uh, ready to use with a node version uh, 9.1 or later. Okay, uh, we have that. We can check our files as well. So in the CNode files, we have things like uh, config json right that specifies all the node config we have the topology so this is the default topology for the preview network so if you made a, a pool on this network you have uh, here predetermined space for like your uh, block producer and your relay in the local routes um, and these are set to not be adver advertised um, 
yeah public routes are empty but okay uh, if you're interested more about the topology file uh there's a video on peer-to-peer -peer networking on cardano on this channel that you can check out uh so we can also check the conway genesis which is required for this node version so this specifies all the stuff about governance and this is what uh this hard fork is about uh, we're not gonna get into governance in this video but maybe in a future one uh we will but for now everything seems fine mm, don't think we forgot anything so we can just try to restart the node and we can go to logs and we have the node json uh being printed so uh it's opening the db and let's see if it starts syncing okay there we go so connections i understand it's a bit hard to read these logs like this maybe we pipe it to jquery it's still coming in pretty fast so what i want to see is a chain extended events we can also look at get live view to have a, a nicer overview right a much more clear okay so um the node is up to the tip and it it is sinking because if it wasn't it would already be uh, much more out of sync than than just 22 uh the tip because the snapshot is from before uh we have the incoming outgoing connections uh that's all fine so yeah this node seems to be working okay we have updated the version uh and that's it there we go tip reset so we received a new block and that's it so we basically updated the node this node is now ready for the wednesday hard fork it should be able to pass through the hard fork uh, other node versions will not be able to so i encourage you to set up this node on preview you know let's uh, get those node versions up on preview let's do the hard fork on preview see how it goes then we can go to pre-prod and then mainnet this hard fork seems that it's going to be very uh let's say um it's gonna be a short deadline to update the nodes so you need to be ready and the best way to get ready is to do it on the test nets uh, so just because the node version is out doesn't mean you know you should automatically update on mainnet do it on test net uh, let's get through the hard fork on test nets to see everything working and then we can up update on mainnet uh, the only other thing that i would say that would be useful uh, that if you can do is go to CN tools and now all this uh, functionality of CN tools has been updated to this node version which has CLI changes and so on so uh, right now on this node I don't I, I have a I have a wallet but it doesn't even have any funds uh, so you can request you can make a wallet request funds from the faucet you can play with all of the commands like just sending funds making a pool uh, setting things up uh, transaction signing submitting and stuff so this if you and if you find that anything doesn't work then it's very useful to submit uh, an issue on the github on the guild operators github that you can find here you can submit an issue as like something doesn't work with this node version and we can see um is, is it uh, is there something wrong the, is something else needs to be done and, and so on so this really helps with maintaining this tool set that <clears throat> so many spos use to maintain their nodes so um yeah and 
that's it uh updating the nodes let's see how the hard fork goes on wednesday good luck and see you in the next video